Buongiorno, buonasera, benvenuti amici, welcome my friends and welcome to my channel, Fountain Pen Therapy. My name is Vincenzo and I'm continuing my journey in uh, the Chinese pens, uh, part of that barrage of orders that I put through when I came back from vacation, as I mentioned in several, um, uh, several videos. They're all coming in slowly but surely. Uh, and one recent addition was, I was very curious, I saw on the, I believe it was on the Etsy site, or maybe even AliExpress, and um, I'll add a picture of it um, in, in just a second. Uh, a series, it, it, you know, a three-colored version of this pen. Uh, it came in black, it came in uh, red or orange, and in this uh, dark green. And it really rose my curiosity, and then I realized, my God, that looks like something I've seen before. Well, stay tuned, folks. This is the JD Metal Big Pen. Strange name, mysterious. But what about this pen? Is it worth its 30 bucks? Stay tuned, folks. Okay, so let's start the review. Once again, to my viewers, my apologies. My throat a little, is a little hoarse. I've been uh, under the weather uh, just the last couple of days. Uh, but you know what? Fountain pen therapy is, uh, is, is keeping me going, as they say. So uh, here it is, this, this monster of a pen, uh, a little bit of a controversial mystery, if you will, the JD Metal Big Pen. Uh, what a name, uh, I've got to tell you. Uh, it's, it's a great name for a no name. Um, here it is. Now, what I thought I'd do... Um, at the same time that I go through the, the features and the parts uh, of, of this pen, I thought that the best way for me to do it is to compare it to the, to the original, uh, which is the uh, Pilot Yurushi Custom, uh, you know, a, which pen goes anywhere between, I've seen it at approximately $1,500 uh, to $2,000 Canadian depending on the sites that you that you visit so i i thought that we will look at each feature of this pen and compare it to the original at the same it will give us a chance to to make a detailed comparison and to draw some conclusions and at the same time it'll give you a better uh, view of the individual features of this pen and the, now i do not own a yurushi um pilot custom pen uh, at two thousand dollars, it's it's not even in my. Uh, I got to tell you, it's not even in my uh, in bucket list at this point in time. But what I do have is, uh, and, and, and courtesy of Goulet Pens, Goulet Pens as a um, as a site where it 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 has some wonderful pictures uh, of the original. And I thought I'd take the the red one. Just because you'll be able to see the, the you know, the uh, the contrast between uh, the red parts or the color part and the black sections, whereas on uh, either a black pen they're all black, and mine is, uh, as I mentioned, is green. Now, why is it green? Why did I not get this um, uh, this red one, red orange one? They did not have any in stock at the time that I ordered it, but I got to tell you, I, I have since found it on eBay and I've put in an order, but I couldn't wait. I was just too excited. I had to get this review up and going. So let's, let's start, first of all, from the overall section of this pen. I mean, the overall size, and we'll do some size comparisons uh, just in, in a few seconds, you'll see that it is... And exact when you look at it just overall you see that it's an exact copy and let's look at the individual features to see whether or not that conclusion is justified so first things first let's look at the um, the cap um, here is the cap okay and when you compare it to uh, the cap on the picture, you could see that it is similar in almost every, sorry about that, let me just go back here, in almost every respect. Let me explain. First of all, the top finial, you'll see that there is a 
black uh, protruding uh, button, if you will, okay, with a gold ring around it, which is exactly what you will find in the uh, original Yerushi. It then has a ring, the clip ring right here is slightly beveled, which is exactly the case in the original. Um, beautiful clip, as you can tell, a nice triangular classic with a, you know, just a round ball here, which is exactly what you see on the original. The only difference being that on the original, you actually have the inscription pilot, whereas on the JD metal big pen, there is absolutely nothing. If we proceed, we then you can see that there is a ring, uh, a small ring, space there with some black and then you have a main the main ring uh, at the center uh, the main ring at uh, at the center of the cap or at the, the bottom of the cap or the center of the pen you can tell uh, it's uh it's got two parallel beveled uh, uh, sides i guess you, you could say it it's not a, a flush uh ring and um the, and you got the same thing on the original. Uh, the only difference, they even have the three, uh, the three stars. Okay, which which is now. I would, let me just show you uh, another maybe where I could see the three stars. You see the three stars there now. They they are in black, um, whereas this one is just uh, uh, laser etched, I guess. Uh, and there is no Yurushi Custom Pilot, as of course as you see on the original. So in terms of the cap. It is, I, I would say, a complete and utter copy. Okay, let's look at the bottom part of this pen. Let me just take one picture that will uh, demonstrate that. Here it is, and here is the uh, JD. I mean, exactly uh, the same. The flare may be slightly different, uh, there may appear to be more threads there, but there isn't. It's just um, it's just the picture. Uh, dynamics of the picture uh, is such. But again, if we review it, slight flare there, slight flare there. There is a uh, uh, gold ring uh, leading up to the threads. Uh, then there's the barrel, which slightly goes inward leading to a um, ring again that is not uh, it's not flat it, it has a beveled shape to it same thing and i don't have a nice picture of the other end but i guess you could see it here but it's the same thing the the finial just like the other one except there's no gold it's just black but it is the button is protruding and i think you could see it a little bit on this picture but again uh an absolute absolute copy okay now let's look at we will open this up they are both cartridge converters um, and, and look at the uh, look at the similarities I mean uh, right down to the you know little bit of gold ring leading up to the threads there is a little you know there's there's the steel uh, steel or the metal uh, part here is exactly the same that keeps the um, uh, the the uh, cartridge in so again cartridge is very different this is a very cheap cartridge and that one i think is a pilot uh, i forget the number but it's a it's a uh, proprietary um, uh, cartridge there you have it and we'll get to the nib in a second because that's where the major difference <laughs> uh, in my opinion is so right down to the right down to even this system here the, the 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 whole the whole metal part is just a complete copy now here's where i start to see a problem in terms of build quality um i can um i can see that sometimes if you don't get it right you see i can't screw it in it goes in crooked. You almost have to struggle with it to make sure you find the right grooves, which is not something that I want to do. By the way, 
this thing has an O-ring, um, which is a good idea, I think, for such a heavy pen and make sure it doesn't come out. I'm not sure that the original uh, uh, has one. Um, there appears to be one right there, but I think that's more the, the um, part of the pen than the O-ring. But this one does have an O-ring, which is nice because it, you can really tighten it and it, it, would, it doesn't come out, especially at a heavy pen like this. If it starts unscrewing, then you, you could have a very uh, uncomfortable situation. Uh, in passing, the threading, uh, and that goes to the build quality, the threading here, um, now I got it right this time, but if you, again, if you don't get it right the first time, then you're going to have struggle, you're going to struggle to screw this in. Uh, I thought at one point that it wasn't screwing in properly, but no, you just have to find the right groove in order to get it back in its position. Uh, and then, of course, that's maybe the only the only little hick that I see in the build quality of this pen, because I, I got to tell you, I think it's, and look, I'm no expert, but um, in terms of, you know, engineering and manufacturing, but I, unless this pen starts to chip on us after a while, uh, which may be the case, I don't know if it has any longevity in it, in itself, but uh, I got to tell you, the build quality is excellent. It, it really is nice. Um, it's just, a, you know, it's unfortunate that it's decided to copy, I mean, really copy the original Yurushi. Okay, it, it, it's just not inspired. I mean, let's, there's no, there's no doubt here, okay? It's probably the one pen that I've seen uh, uh, that, that, that is a complete copy. I mean, there's a lot of more black copies by the name of MB that are being sold on AliExpress. Uh, from what I understand, some of them, you know, look like attempts, but when you buy them, I think I bought one, you can tell they're flimsy, the, the build quality is crap. This one, I got to tell you, there, there is some quality there. So that, <clears throat> that, that covers the outside. Now, does it post? Here, a picture of the posting. In terms of the size comparison that I'm going to give you later on, I think this um, JD uh, Metal Big Pen posts better than the Arushi, but it does post. Uh, believe it or not, folks, and it posts comfortably, and it sits deep in there. Um, I mean, look, I don't like posting pens just because I there is a little bit of movement there, so it's not, and it's a heavy pen, and it's a metal pen. There's no need to post this pen, folks. Uh, I mean, you have enough weight there, <laughs> okay? Um, you don't need to add to it, but it does post, and it's shorter when it's posted than the posted Yurushi as we will see in the uh, measurements that I will put up on the screen in, in just a few seconds. Now, in terms of the nib, well, first of all, the materials, I, I mean, the materials, okay, this is a metal pen. Um, the Urushi is, you know, a lacquered ebonite, lacquered in, in, in a very special way, that makes the pen and uh, uh, makes the price of that pen as well. So there I have no illusions. You cannot compare this uh, this metal beast with this um, lacquered ebonite beauty, okay? And there's just no comparison. And that same thing goes for this nib. Now, the nib, in my view, I'm trying to figure it out. It, it does have a JD uh, inscribed on it with a little leaf. That little leaf reminds me of the fine writing international logo but i checked it with the, the fine writing international pens i have it it's slightly different but at first sight first blush i thought it was just a uh, the same nib there's a jd uh, engraved there uh, and my camera is not uh, is not cooperating as usual here we go um i think this is a yowo nib i could be mistaken folks you guys let me know, but I think it's a yo and the way it writes, it's a medium. Uh, I've got a feeling it is a yo nib. Uh, there you go. So that's the nib. And of course, the nib on the, uh, uh, on the, uh, one second, here we go. The nib on, uh, one second, hold on. Okay, the nib on, 
And the original is an 18 karat uh, size 8 uh, beautiful nib. And that's one of the main features of this pen. I would love to be able to write with a nib like that. Ah, maybe one day. Like I said, a $2,000 pen right now is not on my bucket list. But that's, of course, uh, another major difference, which uh, uh, frankly is obvious. So, um, yeah, inside the steel cap, let's look at inside the steel cap. I always like to look at that because it gives you an idea of whether or not there's going to be a problem later on with um, uh, drying the pen. Let me just... Uh, yeah, let me put some light in there. You can see that it's all a steel lining. There's no plastic insert uh, that seals that pen. It goes all the way down to the bottom where um, you can see the, you know, the step down leading to this, uh, this uh, part here. Now, depending on how that pen is manufactured, there may be a, a leak there uh, in terms of air uh, that would make this pen uh, you know, uh, susceptible to drying, but, uh, time will tell, time will tell. I can't get in there. So, um, it's difficult for me to, to see how this was done, uh, but I've got a feeling that, uh, that mechanism, uh, there is some spacing there, uh, where air gets in and, uh, you're going to have a drying problem after, after a while. That's the steel cap. So that covers the steel cap. Now, let's do a weight comparison. I was curious to see, you know, I, I don't like, generally speaking, I do not like um, metal pens. Uh, it's just as a rule, uh, they're not my favorite. Let's put it this way. But um, uh, I decided to, to take the few that I have and just compare. As you can see, well, depending on how, you know, it's either between 70 and 71. There we go. Seven, 70 grams is this JD. If I compare it to this uh, fully win, uh, there's some brass in there. This is 52. It compared to one of my heavier italics, that's 50. And now this ugly pen, uh, probably the worst pen I've ever purchased. Um, I think they call it the Duke or something. The Duke is 76 grams, completely useless pen in my view. Uh, so it is heavier than that JD. Um, the 159, the Jinao 159 is 49 grams. The new N5, which by the way, I will be reviewing shortly from Ongdian, is 55. Uh, my other italics pen is 53. Uh, and my fine writing international brass pen is 52. So that's a heavy pen because the, most of the barrel here is uh, acrylic. Okay, but still, uh, other than this ugly Duke pen, which I can't even look at this, I can't even open. I mean, I with this small, I don't know what that is. Uh, I had a this is a totally useless pen. I can't even get it in there. It's 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 just. Just unfortunate. It's just a bunch of metal. That's all it is. So other than that, now I heard that there is the um, uh, Jin Hao, I think the Double Dragon or the Dragon Pen, various versions of it, um, go up to 100 grams. So, um, so just to show you that those pens are even heavier. Okay. In terms of a size comparison, I, I, th I thought I'd take out some of my bigger pens uh, and uh, just to see how it measures up to... Uh, you have my ASA Galactic, and then you have a series of um, Ranga pens, all of which, by the way, uh, I have reviewed, and I will um, put in the description a, uh, I'll try to remember, uh, a, a link to those uh, videos, okay? But they're all been reviewed. These are huge pens, you, you know, it, 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 it goes without saying. They're all, you know, six inches, seven inches uh, long. But uh, there it is. It, it's sitting there, and it uh, rivals Ricely with him. If we remove these huge pens, and maybe just to give you an idea, compared to my original Jin Hao 159, uh, 
compared to the new Jinhao 90019, you can see it's slightly bigger. Uh, compared to, um, let me just, uh, my Opus 88 Special Endless Edition, you can see it's bigger than that. And compared to my Ongdian. There you go. It's much bigger than that as well. Okay, there you have a size comparison. Good. So I will, in the coming seconds, show you some measurements. And after the measurements are put up on the screen, we'll get to our writing sample. Okay, so we're back with the uh, writing sample. First of all, the ink I will be using today is this um, Sailor Gentle Ink. It's a kind of a dark green, which uh, I think matches very nicely with the uh, color of this pen. Uh, and my notebook is the uh, uh, Tomoe River uh, Sake TP um, uh, notebook and uh, with my grid as usual which i prefer okay so let's uh, let's see what this pen does so this is the jd metal big pen by whom i have no idea <laughs> the nib um, is a first of all it's a steel gold toned um, I have no illusions it's not real gold it's just toned gold and uh, number six and it's a medium um, that's what it's advertised to be I believe it's a yo nib but I'm not sure and if any of the viewers know anything more about this pen or if they purchase it and uh, can give me any I, any thoughts on that I would greatly appreciate it um, there you have it now the nib does have a little spring to it uh, I did manage to get some line variation I think it's wet so it is wet um, very constant lines I have no no qualms about it um, it keeps up very nicely um, I should be using the Jerry Binder um, line you know for for line measurements that uh, inquiring minds uses I always meant to get that chart but um, I'm not sure it's a medium I look I don't owe a yo -o medium nib so I can't compare it to anything but it sometimes feels like I'm writing with a fine but again that's me just me because I don't like anything less than broad but um, like I said that's just me um, folks this thing I don't know if you could hear it uh, is just very smooth with some nice feedback Um, fast writing this is me by the way I think it's very nice so <clears throat> I would say it is very smooth wet and constant I like this nib, really like it, and it, it's a really comfortable pen. <laughs> Maybe it's just I like these juicy, big pens. Now, in terms of my rating, again, if I take the categories that I usually use, design, 
Well, you know, some effort did go into making this pen, and but it's negative effort in my opinion. It's it's effort made to clone it, uh, and I'm going to give it a zero. I just can't condone the extent to which they went to copy the pen. Uh, you know, you could be inspired by a certain design and have some differences, but this is this is not inspiration it's a copy build quality i don't like those threads i'm not sure it's going to be it's going to be chipping on us but i i, I would give it about an eight 8.0 for build quality the nib i think is excellent i give it a 9.6 um in terms of value, I've seen this pen anywhere between twenty and thirty dollars. Uh, I think the value is excellent. If nothing else, I'm looking forward to receiving the orange one. It just it gives me an idea what that Rurushi looks like, because I don't think I'll ever see one in real real life. Um, and is it going to be at my go-to pen? You know, I don't usually like metal pens. Um, but they tell me that because I have a slight tremor in my hands, and yes, folks, don't worry about it. It's not Parkinson's or anything like that. I've had this hand tremor for, for decades. Um, they say that heavier pens kind of stabilize that tremor. A and I noticed that, that I, I feel very comfortable with a heavy pen. But when the heavy pen is a metal, shiny piece of steel that slips everywhere and that is thin, that's where I have in trouble. I think it doesn't help me at all. Whereas when is it nice and big and it just sits there? Oh, very nice. So um, I think the verdict is still out, but I'm going to give this pen every um, every go at it. It's also going to be a talking piece. I, I can tell you that, again, um, although boardroom meetings these days have been replaced by teams, but at a boardroom meeting, I put this pen down and some people are going to pay attention um so there you go that is my review it's been fun looking at this strange uh, monster um it's a big monster it's not a beauty uh, but let me tell you it's very interesting and it raises a lot of questions <laughs> having said that please subscribe join uh, in my next video join me in my next video and uh, be well thank you very much